This is the moment an armed police operation came to a swift end and stopped a huge smuggling operation. Moments earlier, this group of men transferred suitcases from this boat to a van, filled with one of the largest ever shipments of illegal guns from Europe to the British mainland. Harry Schilling and Michael Dufresne were found guilty by a jury of smuggling the assault rifles and submachine guns into the UK. Three other men, David Payne, Richard Rye and Christopher Owen, had already pleaded guilty for their part in the operation. The National Crime Agency say the gang were well organised and had links to the criminal underworld, which means the weapons could have been used in serious crimes. We don't know uh, exactly where they would have gone on to, but uh, they could have had a devastating effect. These are weapons that could cause mass casualties. Each of the types of weapons can fire 800 rounds a minute, and you can imagine the effect that would have um, if they are in the wrong hands. Although the gang had no terrorist connections, the Czech weapons originated from the same shop as the ones used in last year's Paris terror attacks. The guns had been reactivated for use. Harry Schilling was the man who organised the smuggling. The gang paid more than £20,000 for the boat, which brought the guns into the country. And he made sure they communicated by using encrypted messages on mobile phones. But the gang, though, was still tracked and followed by the National Crime Agency, who were still able to make multiple and coordinated arrests. Before they were caught, Harry Schilling and Michael Dufresne boasted they were now gangsters. The gang will be sentenced next month. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.